the sun goes up and the sun goes down. I had just heard in Italy that the Bishop of Meath was taking me on as a hermit, and I was overjoyed that time was taking me back to the far west of Europe, where time has indeed stood still. There is a simplicity in the green, a simplicity in the unhurried country, and Meath is very green full of animals, full of nature, unchanged. Indeed, right now, these Cistercian brethren came immediately in this direction when they saw a human being on the horizon and thought to themselves, what's this got to do with reality? He doesn't even know how to ruminate. Little do they know. And so, right next to them, we have a place of worship, long silent. For in Ireland, the Reformation saw the closure of the old churches, lest the old faith cling to the stones. Whereas in England, they were kept and they became Anglican parish churches and remain with us to this day. Here then, the faith of the Irish would have been strong there would have been a bell calling them to prayer to the Holy Sacrifice unchanged. And that same sun would have come through these windows. The sun coming up and the sun going down and calling the sons of men towards eternity, punctuated by the bell. It was a moment of truth. A day has dawned before the dawns again, and these soft rays that warm yet call me home. A week or two shall come Ere I regain a desert isle I know, where once did roam the feet of youth, neath truth of plainness seen, where thou, my lord, didst speak, where thou didst say, Come, come. Come closer now, stand where have been the feet of ones made whole. Here, stand and stay. Oh, peace of soul. The wholeness of the all in solitude refound. The bounds of prayer contaminated ne'er by tingles small of currents calling hence. Nay, nay, but there. A presence in the midst. Thou didst bid do for naught, but only be. Be naught, but true.